Hi, this is Anya Mark. Today we're here at Township Athletic Club and we're going to be working out with Ken who has his own program as well. What's it called? Merkaba Fitness. Merkaba Fitness. Come check that out, the link below. What should we know about this gym before we go in? This is basically the community gym for the township of Coconut Creek, Florida. The township is a, a neighborhood that really sits in the heart of Coconut Creek. And Coconut Creek is located probably uh, 10 miles north of Fort Lauderdale and shares a border with Boca Raton. So we're in the northern part of southern Florida and uh, we're gonna check out this gym actually for the first time. I, I just moved in a few weeks ago and looking forward to see what this gym has to offer. Yeah, let's check it out. And uh, Coconut Creek, I believe, is like one of the nicer communities up here, right? Yeah. Northern Broward County. Yeah, and, Which, uh, between some not so good communities <laughs> <laughs> to the east and to the west. So. But uh, yeah, but this actually here, this area is actually pretty good. I'll try and show it around uh, a little bit before I go. Yeah. Okay, these are the, this is the equipment you're using here? Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, we have to use this too to lay down on, right? Nope, it's done standing up. It's all done standing yeah, up. it's done standing. So, I'll actually show you. Start with 35. You do straight up. Whoa. That's 35 pounds? Go. Like this? Yep. 20? 10. Oh. That's good form though, you got your back straight, that's exactly right. You should be feeling it in your shoulders. One more. Yep. Oh. Okay, so next we're gonna do incline presses, incline dumbbell presses. The incline fly? Not the incline fly, incline dumbbell press. Okay. Uh, similar to the incline fly, works the similar muscles on the upper known as the clavicular head, which is the upper portion of your chest that connects to your clavicle. Doing presses at an incline works that a little bit more strongly. So what we're going to do is, instead of making a flat bench, we're going to make an incline bench. So that when we lean back, we're not going to be laying perfectly flat. We're going to be laying back at the And this bench doesn't allow you to decline it any further. In reality, the best angle to get the bench is at about 30 degrees. It looks like this bench stops at 45 degrees, but we'll have to do what we can. So we'll, we'll make do with this. Just know that usually it's better to try to get it a little bit lower. It doesn't have to be this steep. This will work shoulders more, but it'll still do the job. Okay. Take stuff out of your pockets. Need to rest your weights. Thanks. And see, the way you're doing it helps reduce shoulder impingement. So people who feel uncomfortable in their shoulders when they do this, your motion um, can make it a little bit easier. Oh, good. I 
20. I usually do 8. Oh, now I'll stop here at 10. We actually found a bench that declines to the right angle, or the optimal angle for targeting your upper chest. So, you see here, I was able to adjust with this knob, bring it back down a little bit, and we see that the angle of this bench is now closer to 30 degrees, and this will help hit the upper chest more than your shoulders. That's, that's the idea there. Okay. Good. You should be feeling it more in your upper chest. To be honest, I'm not even feeling it at all. I think I usually do heavier. Usually what I do, this is 60 pounds, which I think is the closest to 30 kilos here. So uh, I'm not gonna do the full set that I usually do, which is 15, because uh, I don't know what else he has in store for me. <laughs> Yeah. Alright, so we're getting started with the shoulder press. And um, the shoulder press incorporates both triceps and shoulders. We haven't worked out triceps that much, so it's time to mix it back into the routine. Starting with the lighter weight for warm up, we'll work our way up afterwards. Yeah. And just connect. Just up. Mm. Up over right here? Yeah. See here? Mm hmm. How many? Eight. And Mark is going to show me his ab routine. Yeah, this is usually new for abs. It's like a three in one, um, like rep. Um, when you combine it together, it gets all, all sides of the abs. You get the, the obliques and the core. Okay. One. One. fasted state or a semi-fasted state where I've had less than you know 300 calories before for the day before working out. And why is that? Um, it, it raises your level of ketones in your body which is what your body produces when you're low on glucose and if you need a fuel source. So uh, the ketones are produced by your liver, liver. They actually help oxidate fat which is naturally going on when you're working out anyway so when you work out in a fasted state you're burning more fat than, than you Mm. All right, now are you going to do my sit-ups or your sit-ups? I'll just do the regular kind. Because yeah, you, you're doing pretty well with mine. But I think it was killing you. All right, so this is on your mark. Today we're here at Township Athletic Club. Uh, we had a really good workout today. Yeah. Yep. And remember, this is Ken from... Merkava Fitness. Merkava Fitness. Check the link below, see what he has to offer. If you like this video, please like, comment, and consider subscribing. And share. And share. Thanks, have a nice day.